Uh, let's try this, here we go. Namaste, people. Meta nam jabi he. Uska nam achara he. Namaste. Okay, there we go. It gets less cute by the day. Okay. Yes, okay. Okay, thoughts, thoughts you have after watching a horror movie. Uh, Ashish Chanchalani Vines, thank you Ashish Chanchalani for allowing us to react. It is very, very much appreciated. And very much appreciated every time you text me. I won't say what the texts are about. We'll just keep that between you and me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is an older video, huh? I think someone said it was The Conjuring. I've never seen this. <laughs> Achhi picture thi. Good horror, entertaining movie. Lekin ye sab real life mein thodi hota hai. Tension nahi kar, Ashu sab nakli hai. Nahi nahi nahi. Aisa thodi hota hai. Ye log aise hi likh dete hai bas darane ke liye. Ye sab nakli hai. Oh god. I know. I was thinking of the grudge actually at that moment. Sala shampoo lagane ke liye aap khun kar raho hai. Tu chudel dikh rahi hai. Jaane. Oh. Yeah. Oh no. I go. I don't do that after I've watched a horror film. अगर भूत ने बेड के नीचे से आके मेरे पैर पकड़ लिए तो नहीं बाबा. Blanket के अंदर ही डाल देता हूँ. Yes. अभी मेरे पैर safe हैं. Thank God. साला डर के मारे गला सूख गया. नहीं. 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 मैं जानता हूँ भी क्या होगा. ये movie का वो वाला part है. जब मेन कैरेक्टर बाहर पानी पीने जाता है और भूत उस पर पीछे से हमला कर देता है मैं नहीं जाऊंगा पिक्चर के कैरेक्टर चूते होंगे मैं <laughs> मैं तेरे चाल में नहीं आने वाला भूत जाओ और विपाशा वासु को पकड़ लो बहुत डर लग रहा है यार बहुत डर लग रहा है यार हे भगवान तीन बजे के पहले नींद कर <laughs> तो मैं इनको कैसे भगाऊंगा प्लीज भगवान तीन बजे के पहले नींद करा दे मेरे को तो हनुमान चालीसा भी नहीं आती है तीन बजे भूतों का एक्टिव टाइम रहता है भगवान लेकिन उनको भगाने के लिए मेरे को कुछ तो आना चाहिए यार ऐसे कैसे चलेगा हाँ मैं वंदे मातरम गाऊंगा वंदे मातरम वंदे वंदे मातरम वंदे वंदे मातरम वंदे लेकिन वंदे मातरम से क्या होगा मुझे तो भूतों से लड़ना है आजादी की लड़ाई थोड़ी लड़ने जानी है रवि को कॉल करता हूँ साला अभी तक जाग रहा होगा हेलो थैंक गॉड रवि तू जाग रहा है यार मेरी बहुत फटी हुई है मैंने अभी गंदी हॉरर पिक्चर देखी यार मेरे को मेरे को बहुत डर लग रहा है यार मुझसे बात कर क्या बात करूँ बता अरे कुछ भी बात कर यार डिस्ट्रैक्ट कर मेरे को यार मेरे को बहुत डर लग रहा है तेरे को जबरदस्त फैक्ट बताता हूँ मैं जबरदस्त हाँ हाँ बता बता फैक्ट बता अरे ऐसा बोला जाता है की रात के तीन बजे घर की सारी खाली कुर्सियों पर भूत प्रेत आके बैठते और तुम्हें घूरते अरे हो मेरी फटी हुई है तेरे को समझ नहीं आ रही क्या बात क्या बातें कर रहे हैं कुर्सी भूत तीन बजे पागल है क्या तू यार अच्छा चल मैं तेरे को एक जबरदस्त कहानी बताता हूँ जबरदस्त हाँ चलेगा मेरे को एक मस्त कहानी बता अरे गांव की कहानी है जबरदस्त कैसा गांव देख तो कहानी ये है कि गांव में रात को तीन चुड़ैले आके छत पे नाच गाना करती है लेकिन ऐसा बोलते हैं कि एक चुड़ैल वो ग्रुप को छोड़ के चली गई वो आजकल अभी YouTube पे गाने बनाती है अब ये गाना लॉन्च किया था उसने यार क्या सेल्फी मैंने ले लिया जैसा बोलता था, 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 था। क्या बातें बता रहे चुड़ैल गांव पागल है क्या तू जबरदस्त नॉर्मल बात बताता हूँ मैं जबरदस्त तो प्लीज यार नॉर्मल बात मैंने आज सुबह अपने वॉचमैन को देखा अरे वाह तो अरे लेकिन दो दिन पहले मेरा वॉचमैन मर गया था यार अरे यार ऐसा बोला जाता है कि रात के तीन बजे घर की सारी खाली कुर्सियों पर भूत प्रेत आके बैठते और तुम्हें घूरते उसने कहा था रात को खाली कुर्सियों पे आके भूत बैठेगा लेकिन ये कुर्सियों पे तो सावन पड़े 
तो भूत बैठेगा का <laughs> स्मार्ट <laughs> मम्मी <मते। laughs> <laughs> So much got their hair done. It's a sister who got her hair done, right? Is रात के दो बजे हॉल के बीच में खड़े रहते सफेद कपड़े पहन के कौन बाल सुखाता है क्या पैंटी की एड चल रही है इधर रात को हां अंदर जा पागल आदमी ओह माय गॉड दैट इज दैट इज टोटली मी आई कैन रिलेट टू like just about everything that he said in that video. It's so interesting to see where he's come from, like just in the last three years or four years, I suppose. It was three and a half. Yeah. Because this was June 5th, 2017 when he uploaded this. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting to see the evolution of Ashish Chanchalani because his production has gotten bigger and bigger and bigger. I mean, obviously, I, I don't know what his other videos were like at this time because I can't remember if we've watched anything else from this particular era of Ashish Chanchalani. Right. But like, he's got a whole bunch of friends that he shoots with. He's got production value. He's got classrooms. He's got, he's, he's shooting well outside of his locations, Home. yeah. He's got locations and whatnot. It was just interesting to see this very raw version of Ashish Chanchalani, and I actually thought it was really funny. Like, for it being this very low-budget thing that was probably shot on his cell phone at the time, and mm -hmm. just kind of cobbled together, I thought it was actually pretty well done. I mean, it was effective in delivering an idea, which is the most important part. And, like, the sound quality is not great. The video quality is not great. The editing wasn't great. But, it was funny. And, yeah. and it was certainly effective in, in being relatable. The ideas were very very clear and they were they were very well communicated and i was like oh you know i i kind of wish we would see more of this from ashish chanchalani these like short burst videos that are just about this like communicating this idea and tickling you obviously it's been years since he's done something like that i think as creators we have we feel like we have to get bigger and bigger and bigger as opposed to pulling a cloverfield sequel the sequel was smaller than the first film you right. know and it was still and it was still an effective film i felt i can remember three instances where a movie left that kind of an effect on me in a bad way or anything i was watching the first one was jurassic park I love that movie. I love that film, but it made me afraid of dinosaurs for the longest time, particularly because at the time I lived in an apartment that was overlooking what would have been perfect dinosaur height. <laughs> Tyrannosaurus Rex height to like just chomp into my window and eat me, right? Uh -huh. Even though it's like my it was weird because as a kid I'm like logically I'm like dinosaurs are extinct. They've been extinct for like 65 million years. Why would they do that now? But I can't help the fear. And it's there, right? Another instance was um well, Mercipore season one. That was the third one I was going to bring up. The end when, well, if you haven't seen the movie, I'm about uh, the show. I'm about to ruin the end of the season one yeah, for you. Yeah, so skip ahead ten seconds. But, but like when Babu yeah. gets shot in the head, that really left a mark oh, on wow. me. Yeah, like okay. that was very upsetting for me to see that. It was just so horrifying. And the second one, uh, oh god, it came back to me for a second. It was uh, 127 hours. Oh, I haven't watched that one. But yeah. is it when he cuts his yeah, arm off? Yeah, when he cuts off. his arm off. It was just particularly frustrating because I was watching it with my best friend, who's a climber. She's like, let's watch 127 hours. I'm like. Okay. <laughs> and so we do, and she falls asleep during the part where he starts to that process. Mm -hmm. And that process isn't like a scene. It takes place over the course of several minutes of the movie because he does he can't he's only got this like little Swiss Army knife. Yeah, oh god, with. I can't even. And, and so yeah. it's like it's a very, very painful thing to sit through and watch for 30 minutes. It's horrifying and you see the pain that he goes through and the sounds and all that stuff and him describing the process of doing it and like that whole thing was just so just uncomfortable that it stayed with me for days. I'm one of those people that has an irrational fear of missing limbs. Like that's one of the things I learned about myself because I was at Costco once and I saw someone with like a missing leg and I'm like, Ugh. and I'm like, what is wrong with me? Why do I freak out? Because I know this doesn't happen to everybody. This happens to me. Like I have a weird irrational freak out when I see someone with a missing limb of some kind. Uh -huh. And I looked it up and that's an actual fear that is- A phobia, yeah. It's, a, it's an actual phobia. And so that movie went into the worst parts of my brain for a while and it just stayed in my rote memory for a while. It's the reason why I never watched Two Girls, One Cup. Because I'm like, I know that would stay there and I wouldn't be able to get it out. Are there missing limbs in that? 
No, just like how stuff stays in my head that's oh, horrifying. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, no. Really? That happened? Like, they were powerful. No, 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 no. How did they hold I'm just the saying, cup? I'm just saying, like, when something is in my head, it's like I have a hard time getting it out. Okay, fair enough. It's not like cleaning out your car. It's like a, a stain on a dress or something. Like, that's how my brain works. Like, if something's in there that I don't want to think about, it just stays there for days on end. And it's so hard to get it out. Okay. It's very frustrating. Gotcha. So, yeah. But going back to like ghost movies, because I think- I'm just saying like ghost movies have never had that effect on I me. I know, because you're you're that person, but I'm that person who is affected. So everything that he's saying here, I'm like, yes. Like when I watch a scary movie, if I'm alone, like I do enjoy ghost movies. Out of all horror genre movies, I think ghost movies are my favorite ones to watch, but I'm also really, 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 really scared of them. If I'm watching it by myself, I have have to watch it in the middle of the day so I have enough time and daylight to kind of decompress from that but like I'll even have random moments like even last night I was taking a shower late at night and and I had the the shower door open and I felt this like cold breeze on my back and I was like who's there I turned around half expecting to see a ghost and there was nothing there and I was like Probably a ghost. So I just like just stared frightened. it down. Just frightened yourself. I, I did, but like even even the stuff you say about like trying to remember a prayer. My mom told me which which Buddhist chants, which prayers to say if a ghost comes. And then sometimes like I'll, I'll get that feeling in the middle of the night where I'm like, I think I'm being sat on by a ghost. I better say the prayer. Then halfway through, I mess it up, and I'm like, oh shit. Okay. Uh, what now? <laughs> and I'm like stressing out, and then I fall asleep. Okay, that was very, <laughs> that was very anticlimactic. anticlimactic. But I, I get really scared about this stuff. You know, I just scared I've myself. But, see, the thing is, I've experienced that like sleep paralysis thing. Yeah. A lot. I've experienced what I think is an actual ghost. The area where Bobby Kennedy was shot. I've told that story mm -hmm. a few times on the channel. I experienced something horrifying, just a feeling in that room where Bobby Kennedy a was shot. Feeling. A funny feeling. A <laughs> funny feeling. Even with those experiences, when I watch a horror movie, I'm just like, God, it's getting loud. Like, <laughs> just like, I just look at it in sort of like this displeased. Like we watched The Witch not too long ago, which was supposed to be this amazing horror movie. And I'm just like, well, that sucks. I really hope this guy doesn't, oh, I guess he's dying. All right, well, now I'm moving on. You know, it was just a loud movie at a certain point. And it wasn't though. Yes, it was when the kid was like having his exorcist experience or whatever. Oh, okay. It was just getting loud. I don't think it's as loud as Transformers. Transformers is like an action film. It's awakening this machismo in you, right? <laughs> like the, that sort of masculinity that you, that we're all like, that inner masculine, like yeah, rock music and then yeah. like explosions and whatever. That's a different kind of loud that I can get behind. But just like loud, eerie music and then screaming and shrilling and just that sound is just, well, who wants that? That's not fun. It's just irritating. It's scary. But, and so, <laughs> I watched The Ring, and I enjoyed that. The, the part where the lady comes out the television, I was a little scared. That's scary! I was a little scared, but then once the moment passed, I'm like, I was over it. I was like, well, that was, a, that was enjoyable. Wait, you didn't have the thoughts of like, oh no, now I've watched The Ring? What if she comes after me too? Not at all. Really? Not, not, uh, even, not even a little bit. Not at all. Most of the time when I'm watching a horror movie, it's with contempt. I'm watching it just going, and then every now and then, ugh. Well, that, that frightened me a little bit just because it was loud for unexpectedly. Like in the ring, I remember a moment where it cut from a quiet scene to this guy slamming open or slamming shut a, a drawer, a cabinet. Mm. The guy who gets killed by the ring. I've lady. only ever watched um, okay, well, the Japanese version. Well, okay, in the movie, there's a, this white dude who follows, uh, what's her face? And Naomi Watts. Naomi Watts, and he gets killed by the lady at the end of the movie. That okay. dude, he's like doing research or something, and the movie cuts to the scene where he opens or shuts a cabinet, and the entire audience goes, oh, it was just a loud sound. It's a jump scare. It was just a loud it's sound. Fun. But a lot of the movie is just nonsensical. Like a horse shows up and jumps into a water. What? And then she's like doing some research and she's writing, but it turns out she's just making a circle. Oh my Lord. And then she's, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know? <laughs> at one point she's watching like, like some like monitor footage and she goes, oh my God, that fly came out of the TV. It's like, it's a fly. And then it buzzes, it buzzes off. It's like, what? what is so frightening about this movie? Except for the end when bitch comes out of the television and, and, and eats the guy's face. That was the only scary scene in the movie. And outside of that, I was like, that, that was pretty good because I wasn't expecting that. I saw a fly, I saw a lady drawing a circle and a horse jump into water. That was the realest shit in the entire film. <laughs> so, you know, but like after that, I'm just like, I'm done. I, and there's nothing you never, that... you never like, oh, after I watched The Grudge, I got really scared. I couldn't sleep because either 
there's a noise that the, the kid makes in the garage. It's like, uh, 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 uh. Yeah. yeah. And then like, I kept hearing it in my apartment and I was like, Ooh, is it? And then the same thing he's talking about, like with the toes. Sometimes if I get really scared at night and I don't even have to have watched a horror movie before this, I'll start thinking about that. Cause like I heard those ghost stories when I was a little kid, right? You ever hear the one about the guy who had a dog or something and the dog always used to lick his hand when he was sleeping because he'd like put his hand on the uh -huh. side of the bed. But then like one day the dog licked his hand and then he woke up and the dog was dead. And what? It wasn't the dog! What well, do you mean the dog died after ghost. licking his hand? It was a ghost. I don't know. I think I told, this, sensation... I think I told the story wrong. <laughs> it was way scarier when I heard it as well, a the, kid. But the sensation could be just like your rote memory. Like you smelled your, your grandmother's uh, she was there. ginger beans or something, right? No, I smelled her, her, her scent. Her, um... Her, um... Her, Canoli oil or whatever, no, like whatever it was that was in her house that she put on her face all the time or something. No, it wasn't. She used to chew beetle nuts. Oh, there you go, beetle nuts. Yeah. yeah, you smell beetle nuts, but like I think it's just a memory. It's, it's just association, I think, more than anything else. I don't know, but anyway, I'll get scared, and and so I will like curl up in a little ball and sleep in the middle of my bed, so like the ghost can't like put their hands on me. Am I the only one who does this still? I don't know. The dog thing didn't scare me. I feel like I, I feel like we've all sort of experienced something like that. Like if you, I was used to this is gonna be a little sad, but I was used to sleeping in bed with like my ex girlfriend, and when I wasn't living with her anymore, like I had the sensation that she was there, but she wasn't. Oh. So <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, but like, the bitch wasn't there. So <laughs> her ghost. She's was. No, she's alive and well. She's got a, she's got two babies. Like she's fine. I don't know. I just don't get that uh, response to horror movies. It doesn't uh, do anything for me. And then I know for people who watch lots of horror movies, they're not scared anymore. They're just desensitized. That's I'm like, true. like, what have you done to yourself? That's true. So you know what's what's fascinating though is like I just was recalling some of the reaction videos to Stalker which is the short film that we made. You know, watching people like get scared. When it ends, they're like, oh, I wanted to get more scared. I'm like, what are we <laughs> it's, a, it's a very cathartic feeling though. You're watching it and it's entertaining. It's fun because it feels safe in the moment when you're watching it and scary at the same time because you're like, ooh, it's a ghost. It's yeah. scary. Yeah, but it feels hilarious while you're making it. Yeah. And like, then remember that scene when you came out of the water? That scene always fucks with people for some reason. And it's because Raw 2.0 did a great job with, yeah. the, with the effects on your face. Yeah. But like when, when you came out of the water, you were trying hard to like do it a particular way. Yeah. You kept messing it up. You're like, <laughs> keep your eyes open. I'm like, I'm <laughs> trying. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. That was fun. Uh, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Thank you, Ashish Chachlani. And uh, y'all, if you haven't already subscribed to his channel, he is uh, on the cusp, uh, or he just passed it. He passed 23, 23 million, million subscribers. Okay, cool. Awesome. So now help him get to 24. Thanks so much for hanging out. I'm Jabby Koi. This is Asharika. Peace out.